look it's the black holocaust i knew it was prophecy a thousand times worse than your jewish atrocities uneven playing field there'll never be a fair score cause in 1619 that's when they declare war we the 12 tribes the ones that the promise doing it on my life it hasn't worked out for me but then i'm in a, in a, in a corner where we used to sell dope to our community but we used to be the the worst of the worst in our community we repented, come back to the same block, and now we say, hey, we're sorry. We fed poison to our community. We repent from that, man. We want to do better. We want to give back righteousness to our community. We want to show you that if we can do it, you can do it too. So what are we talking about? I'm surrounded by ex-killers, murderers, dump dealers, drug abusers. But we can keep the commandments. But you meant to tell me a civilized person who's gone to theology school, world first, Articulate, can't keep the laws of God? How does that work? Now let me ask you a question. What do you, what do you think about the science you see right here? Okay, that's cool, don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't be scared by my aggressive community because I'm a grown ass man, right? So let me ask you a question. What, what's your nationality? Where are you from? Right. I'm friends, right? So you would consider yourself an Edomite, right? A what? I mean, a white, a, part, a white person, right? Caucasian? Okay, yeah. okay, right? So let me ask you a question. What do you think should happen for what the French did to the Haitians? Yeah, Haitians. To, the, to the Haitians, yeah. Uh, you mean the fight for the Yeah, yes sir. Oh, but what do you think should happen? What, have, have Haitians received corporate justice for the slaughter, the rape, and murder that the French did to them? So, according to, you consider yourself to be a civilized person, right? You French, let, let's be honest, I've been to France, right? You friends carry yourself in a, in a high level of morality. You guys think that you're the shit, excuse me, that you're it, right? Okay, cool. So having that understanding, you seem like a civilized person, right? According to your understanding or your worldviews, what should justice look like for the Haitian people? Because when you go, have you been to Haiti? No. Have you seen how Haitians live? It's a mess. It's a mess, right? What have the French done to make the Haitian people whole? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so so just I'm asking you for your opinion, right? Yeah. According to your civilized worldview, what should justice look like for the so-called Haitian woman and child? For what your people did? You don't know? Well, I think they should have peace both sides, but I don't know that. I apologize. I got you. I got you. So so let me ask you a question. Let me put the let me let me flip it around. If I go if 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 us, right? Blacks and Hispanics get together Confederates, right? And we go to France and we do the same thing to you and your people, what do you think the world should do? Should they, should they just stand out of your body or should they intervene? Hello? No, it's just talking about what they did 200 years ago when they were a dominant empire. Oh, let me so whether it's black, we're a dominant empire, it would be as bad. It would be as bad. Yeah. <laughs> but would you, would you think that would come? What would you want? Would you think, I told you I told this, how about this, I'm gonna put it like this. If I go to your house, I put you in bondage, I rape your wife, slaughter your children, and steal their inheritance. What would just look like for you? Doesn't look bad. Why doesn't look But why would you, I'm asking you a question. Don't, 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 don't. Why are you so hard to answer that? I don't understand. I don't understand. What is your, do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Okay, you know why? Because you're, you think you've heard me talking to the 12 and 16. Let me tell you something. You know what's crazy? And I'm putting you on the spot. I got cameras everywhere, right? You white people do what's wrong every time. Because we said that white people don't want are not people of justice. You think it's okay to rob, rape, slaughter, and marginalize blacks and Hispanics, and you think that you can get away with it. But I'm asking you if, okay, what's this? Do you agree with this? Give me revelation for your time. I'm gonna, show, I'm, gonna see, I'm gonna see if you really mean what you said. Give me that. Because this is what we believe in, and this is what the governor pushes, right? You believe in the death penalty, right? The death penalty. Like if you become a serial killer, <laughs> should you be put to death? Yes or no? No, we are we are against death penalty. You, so so if, if a serial killer comes to destroy the Oh you did that to the Haitians though. How are you against it? Isn't that hypocrisy? Hold on, hold on. But you hold on, hold on. But you did that to the Haitians though. So how does that work then? So it's okay, it's not okay when it's done to white people, but it's okay when you do it to black people, right? Is that what you're saying? I'm trying to answer your question. Yeah. That's a great question. Yeah. So, that penalty was allowed in France until 1981, and we were killing white people in 1981, and decided to in 1981 to stop it. 
So, so 19, many, many, so many, 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 many dead people before. I got you. White I, and now, watch this. 1981. So, in 1981, you guys grew up conscious. Is that what you're saying? Well, hey, do the math. How many years is that? 2022 minus 1981. I want to see how many years. Cause, so, you mean to tell me that in 1981, both of your lives, French white people grew a conscience in 1981, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're telling I'm me? I'm saying that the country of France decided that it was in 81. I know, but what I mean, the US is still okay. But, sir, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking, you guys did it to black people. Well, we also did a lot of death to the white. 41 years ago. So, for, so, 41 years, you guys have, have grown conscience in the last 40 years. Is that what you're saying? Give me Hebrews 12. And you know why? And you know, give me Malachi 1. You know why you guys have grown a conscience in the last 40 years? Because the Bible says that you're the devil, the Bible speaks, and you're the creator right. of the earth. I'm going to show you in the Bible. Read it. This is, uh, Go ahead. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Uh -huh. These there be any fornicator. Any fornicator, you guys raped our women, raped our children, did all this fornication on our, on our people, right? Go ahead. A profane person. What you're talking about is profane. It is profane. It's profane philosophy that you become conscious in the last 40 years. Go ahead. As Esau. As who? As Esau. The Bible calls you an Edomite. That's your biblical nationality, but you believe it or not, right? Go ahead. Uh -huh. Who for one morsel of meat uh -huh. sold his birthright. Give me uh, uh, 11 and 5. You know what I want to say for that. Hey, are you familiar? Are you hey? Hey, are you familiar with the Holocaust? If somebody was talking to you about the Holocaust, would you be sitting up here smiling like you are now? I would say the same thing. But you're smiling about what happened to it. You ask me about the Holocaust, I didn't remove my smile. That's not good. Oh, you're smiling. You wouldn't smile about the Holocaust. Though. Hey, so you said two. We don't let you go. But 200 years ago, you said, what can we do about it? So justice has an expiration date. Ah. You don't have to tell us anything. This is just a simple, we're not expecting you to change the law or change the Constitution. We're just trying to get your ideology or, or world view on our history and the history also of yours. What about, so you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're against the death penalty. What about locking you guys up forever for what you guys did? Is that inhumane too? I don't know how many generations back when you want to punish people. Just, just at the inception of the transatlantic slave trade. Well, you're okay with benefiting off of white, white, white supremacy, right? I don't think it was supremacy. Well, it, it was. You wouldn't be able to walk America. You wouldn't be able to walk on America if it wasn't for white supremacy. Hello? Man, you're not about this life, man. You friends, you know, you know who taught you guys to dress like that? The Moors, and the Moors went over there. Before the Moors got to France, you guys were wearing kilts and skirts and dressing like drag queens. Did you know that? Then the Black Moors came over there. They showed you guys style and flavor and salt hygiene. and hygiene too. So give it up for the Black and Brown man. Oh, praise! Give it up for the Black and Brown man. Read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20 from the top. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe unto them that call evil good. In America, you see white people pushing forward all this abomination agenda. So, uh, abortion? Who's pushing for that? White people, man. Every time we come to downtown Seattle, all we see is white people patronizing confederacy on abominations. Call me a liar. We have to vet white people to make sure that they're not going to slaughter our children. That's just a fact. I'm not lying. Am I lying? You. I'm talking to you, man. Am I lying? Are white people the biggest terrorists in America? Where do you see black and brown people? Deepest death. Yeah. What? Deepest death. Yeah. I'm asking a question. America. Period. 50 states, right? Yeah. According to the FBI, who's the biggest domestic terrorist in America? I don't know. You don't know? You FBI? don't watch the news? Have you ever heard of the Ku Klux Klan? I feel like I feel like you're lying anyway. So. Have you ever heard of the Ku Klux Klan? Yeah. Your family wasn't part of that, right? Where you from? Uh, have a good night, man. Come on, man. Come every, on. Time, every time. Every time. Every time. I keep going. 
Hey man, don't do that, bro. Just move out the block. No, what do you want to do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm black, I'm Native American. How you black? Who's black in your family? My grandfather. You know what side? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 But listen, real quick, real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're talking to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Now watch this. You are black. You we could be presumptuous and think that you are Caucasian, right? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's, it's not about you being white or black. It's about we're trying to have a conversation with you, and you can't keep up with the conversation. I simply asked a question, where you from? It took you two minutes to answer that. So we're not interested in having a conversation right. with you. Where, where am I from? Oh, yeah, where, you, where, where was I born? What state are you from? Alright. Grew up in the city of California. I've been alive for 23 years in, 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 in captivity. So your dad, your, you, on this side, on these signs, Negro, Latino, Native American, your dad's, 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 or your mom's side? Your dad's dad, dad is what? His brother. And that bloodline. So my grandfather's either a 16th or an 18th. Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. If you are, some, if you, some of them, okay, if you go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American, I, then I, you're I, God's I, chosen people. That's just, that's what we're out here teaching. And that the white man, whoever, if they're truly Caucasian, they're going to have to pay, they have to get paid back for what they did to us. That's the message. Justice. So, the only reason the brother's saying that because you're, you being hesitant. Like, if I, if I ask any of this brother, we go to community and we ask this question, it's really not going to be not in the street crime person. It's for educational, it's for educational purposes. Right. But, but the brother was saying is this, right? All we're saying is this, now. In 2022, ignorance is not bliss. And unfortunately, when you look in the mirror, you you look like the oppressor. Now, mind you, you're right. We're not supposed to be presumptuous, right? Because you know, Israel, we don't we don't base you being an Israel on what you look like. But I want you to understand. Let me give you an example, right? Bring that up. Hold that side. I want to show you something. This is what you call PTSD. When you see when brothers deal with you like that initially, it's called PTSD because we were given the image of a so-called white man. And through this image, we were slaves, we were a bit little, red, rubbed, slaughtered, etc. This is the image ingrained in our mind, and this is when we equip it up with the slave man before. So unfortunately, if you look in the mirror, you look like this person right here. So when we initially encounter you, we automatically go back to our PCAD and we put our car into it because you exude the physical attributes of our slave owners. Does that make sense? Yeah, it from, makes from sense. My, from my point of view, so so here's the thing. Well, let me let me explain. Right, right. They've been feeding us baby food to my food, and no one talks about that. I don't know. We talk about that. <laughs> and you know what? Give me Leviticus 11. You know what we talked about that? I, I here's the thing. Here's, here's, that. Listen, here's what I'm saying. You're proving our point. That's the when, Chinese. That's the Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you're proving our point. Here's why. Because we're going to our community and preaching and literally crying aloud to keep the dietary laws. Because that helped them. When we go to the grocery store, guess what we do? We read the label. And we educate ourselves to the contents of the food that we eat. Because the Bible says that we were going to eat food defiled. You know what I'm saying? Defiled food. We understand that. So this is why we're making awareness of our community. Because now they're talking about GMO meat. GMO plants, GMO fish. There's really nothing that you're gonna eat in America that's going to be real food. So when you go to church or Christianity, they tell you don't keep the Torah. The Torah is the only thing that's going to protect that community, your baby. Black and black crime is solving the Torah. How to eat healthy food is solving the Torah. How to keep the righteous holiday is solving the Torah. So when you talk about black and black crime in the black and black, black community, it's solving the Torah. But Christianity doesn't have an answer. You know what I'm saying? We got pastors right now vetting white people to make sure that they don't have guns and they're not going to shoot the congregation. So when we say that the, the white man is the devil's Bible speaks of, it's talking about end time prophecy. And people call it what they call us hate groups and everything else. But when you look at social media, white people are doing exactly what we're saying. It's one thing to call us a liar and we're just making up stuff. But when you go to the news, social media, white people are literally doing that. So how are we lying? It's very difficult. This is why when we talk to someone that we presume to be Caucasian, we get irritated when you guys 
uh, don't want to deal with certain topics. Okay, green light, green light, it, green light to put the Like before you came out here, this boy knew clearly from France, they Ray Rock murdered all the Haitians. He ain't got no answer. Neither does he care about what they did today. Exactly. And then we got Brother Sassana and AA Castiel. The Haitians are still giving the French reparations. How does that work? You see what I'm saying? Am I gonna be tripping? In 2022, they want to call us crazy, but then you're going to be the same goofy-ass person walking with the Caucasian people talking about killing babies. What, what, what the hell? What is going on right now, bro? It's like the, the, the prison, the, the crazy asylum is running rapid. You want to call us the crazy? What, what, what's the saying that goes? The, the, the nigger, the black or the, what do you call them? What do you call them? Anyways, listen. Put on the 26 and 5 group. Bring it out! He was the first grade. 625. 625. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. Huh? And it shall be our righteousness. It what? And it shall be our righteousness. It's going to be our righteousness. When did righteousness become a crime amongst Christians and Muslims? This is insane that we have this. We are fighting, not even fighting, we're debating pastors on this. We're literally debating with pastors who make it their living, who choose the office of teaching righteousness to the congregation. And then when we put the theology on the, on, the, on the chopping block, it falls apart. What are we talking about, man? I'm so sick of it in 2022, man. Read that. And it shall be our righteousness uh -huh. if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. And then we have thousands of different religions. Give it a look. We got the same book. We got the same book and we have thousands upon thousands of different translations, interpretations. You know why? Because they don't teach the Torah. It's very difficult for any church to walk out and just spew their rhetoric and they gotta stand on ten toes on the Torah. The Torah is the only thing that's gonna streamline truth, judgment, and justice. Man. That's right. That's it. I don't trust a goddamn person who don't subscribe to the Torah. Because at any given time, you're gonna sleep with my wife. At any given time, you're gonna molest my children. At any given time, you're gonna steal from me, man. Talk about it. Get out of your goddamn mind. Finish it out. Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and verse 22. Go to the back. How long, ye simple ones? How we're saying, blessed in Spanish, how long, you simple ones, man? These people have gotten away with rob, rape, slaughter, murder, marginalized, abuse, all kind of stuff for 500 years, man. Like y'all don't watch the news? The Jewish, every time we figure out a way to get up up under, here comes the white man trying to put us down. Here comes the white man taking up our innovation. Here comes the white man taking our territory. Have you guys not heard of gentrification? Come on, man. It's 2022. What are we talking about? How is morality a conversation of contention amongst the Christian church with the Hebrew Israelites? How does that work? I don't understand. Keep reading. It says, up on the top, how long ye simple ones will you love simplicity? Come on, man. And then you get mad when we call you stupid. Like, have you not read the dictionary? I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just telling you the truth. Am I your enemy because I'm